the only job that is available to people who only want to do it when they feel like doing it is crime. So if you're raising children who only do work when they feel like doing work, you are raising criminals. I don't care where you are. The youth crime and violence was engineered by the black community. We created the child criminals. I'm going to say it again. But I do want to say this. I do want to say this. I do want to say this. We don't make our children practice hard enough. I want to say this. We do not make our children practice hard enough. Most black children are in special education for reading disabilities. Most black children are in special education for reading disabilities. Most black children are in special education for reading disabilities. Do you want me to believe all them children have reading disabilities? No, they don't have reading disabilities. They have lazy disabilities. They don't have reading disabilities. They have lazy disabilities. They don't have reading disabilities. They have lazy disabilities. We have academically corrupted our children. We have sabotaged them into academic apathy. Our children suffer from academic apathy. They don't want to try. They don't want to produce. They only want to learn when it's fun. That is a big problem in the Negro community. Children who only want to learn when it's fun. Well, guess what? If you're raising children who only want to learn when it's fun, you're raising criminals. Let me say it again. Let me say it again. If you're raising children who only want to learn when it is fun, you are raising criminals. Because the only job in the world, the only job in the world that you can do when you only feel like doing it is crime. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say the only career, the only job that you can find when you only have to do it when you feel like doing it. You only have to do it when you like it. The only career, the only job like that in the entire world is crime. Criminals do crime when they feel like it. Any other job, I don't care if you're in an NBA, NFL, I don't care if you're a politician, I don't care if you own your own business, I don't care if you work for the post office, public transportation, lawyer, accountant, teacher, psychologist, dentist, doctor, engineer, in every career in the world, you have to go to work whether you like it or not. You have to open up the shop whether you like it or not. The only job that is available to people who only want to do it when they feel like doing it is crime. So if you're raising children who only do work when they feel like doing work, you are raising criminals. How many black homes specialize in criminal raising? I'm talking to my black parents. How many of you are actively raising criminals and you don't even realize it? And you don't even realize it. In fact, let me go a little deeper. Let me go a little deeper. This is why we have so many child criminals in black America. This is why we got so many child criminals in South Africa. This is why we got so many child criminals in Jamaica, Brazil, Toronto, London, Wolverhampton, Luton, Manchester, Paris, Austria. I'm going to break it down. Berlin. I'm going to break it down. 
black people are addicted to European materialism. Black people are addicted to European materialism. Black people are addicted to European materialism. We raise our kids to worship expensive European made goods. This is what we do. The rappers do it. The doctors do it. The pastors do it. We are addicted to expensive European goods. In black America, you are taught through example, not through words. Words are nothing. Example is everything. The eyes are infinitely more powerful than the ears. The eyes are infinitely more powerful than the ears. Our children, our children are taught through example that if you don't have expensive European made merchandise, you are a nobody. You ain't got no Air Jordans on, you are a nobody. You ain't got a Louis bag, you are a nobody. You ain't got no Gucci flip-flops, you are a nobody. You ain't got a Mercedes, you ain't got a Beamer, you ain't got a house in a white neighborhood, you are a nobody. So stay with me. On the one hand, we teach our children that you are nobody if you don't have these expensive European-made goods. On the other hand, on the other hand, we raise our children to be lazy, academic disinterested, undisciplined, unmotivated. So how does these work out? On the one hand, you got to have a lot of money to buy all this European junk. On the other hand, I'm not going to make you do your homework. I'm not going to make you go to school. We're going to worship sports, but we don't care if you can read, write, or count. We don't care if you're academically motivated. We don't care if you're academically apathetic. We don't care if you fell in your classes. We're still going to buy you Air Jordans. So you see what's going on. You got to have a lot of money to be somebody, but I'm not going to show you how to do it legally. You got to have a lot of money to be somebody, but I'm not going to build the character in you, the discipline in you, the self-control in you, the black excellence in you, the academic aptitude in you. I'm not going to build this in you so you can buy all this stuff legally. So if my mommy and my daddy raising me to be a lazy, spoiled child, but I got to have all this junk in order to be somebody, how am I going to get it if I couldn't even graduate high school? How am I going to get it if I don't even have enough discipline to go to work? How am I going to get the Benz? How am I going to get the Joys? How am I going to get the diamonds and the gold chains and the gooey and the Lucci and the Balenciaga? How am I going to get all that crap and my parents are not raising me to be a disciplined, hardworking child? You know how I'm going to get it? I'm going to rob. I'm going to steal and kill to get it. So what are you saying, Dr. Umar? What are you saying, Dr. Umar? I'm saying that the youth crime and violence in the black community, the youth crime and violence in the black community, I don't care if you live in Little Rock. I don't care if you in Jackson. I don't care if you in Phoenix. I don't care if you in Oakland. I don't care if you in Milwaukee. I don't care if you in St. Louis. I don't care if you in Detroit, Baltimore, Atlanta. I don't care if you in Miami or Fort Lauderdale. I don't care if you are in Charleston, South Carolina or Durham, North Carolina. I don't care if you in Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, Cleveland or Cincinnati. I don't care where you are. The youth crime and violence was engineered by the black community. We created the child criminals. I'm going to say it again. We created the child criminals. I'm going to say it again. We created the child criminals. That's right. We did it. We did it. We raise lazy ass kids, but we tell them you got to be able to afford expensive European junk. We raise lazy ass kids, but we tell them you got to be able to afford expensive white man junk. We raise lazy ass kids, but we tell them you got to be able to afford expensive European goods. Hit the cash app dollar sign FDMG school.
Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. The best thing you can do for your child. The best thing you can do for your child. The two best things you can do for your children is not none. Neither one involves money. So this ain't got nothing to do with how much money you make because that ain't got nothing to do with how good of a parent you are. I'm going to say that again. Some of y'all think the more money I make, the better mommy I'm going to be. The more money I make, the better daddy I'm going to be. Wrong. Being a good parent has nothing to do with income. I know some horrible parents who have a lot of money. All they do is buy their children junk. They don't spend no time with them. They don't teach them nothing. They don't socialize them. Parenting to them is simply giving my child money and buying them expensive junk while they get raised on TikTok. TikTok is your baby daddy. Instagram is your baby mama. Facebook is your baby daddy. Twitter is your baby mama. You are co-parenting your children with social media. I said you are co-parenting your children with social media. I said you are co-parenting. The next time they ask you if your son have a daddy at home, say yes. Twitter is my baby daddy. The next time they say do your daughter have a mother at home, say yes. TikTok is my baby mama because we are co-parenting black children with social media. If I'm wrong, say it. If I'm wrong, say it. We are co-parenting our children with social media. Ogun Tade. Ogun Tade. We are co-parenting black children with social media. What is minimum wage in South Africa? Minimum wage. 3,000 rand. 3,000 rand per? Per, per month. 3,000 rand per month. You cannot live off of that. Yeah. 3,000 rand per month is nothing. In America, minimum wage is $8.75 an hour. How are you going to pay your rent, pay your car, feed yourself, feed your children, take care of your wife, take care of your husband, keep a roof over your head, or 3,000 rand a month? You can't. That means what? Get ready for the university. Get ready for trade school. Get ready for business school. You got to get ready, but some of you are sabotaging your future because you're not doing your work right here, right now. They